Listen, if you have been watching Del Marva Live for any length of time, like maybe 10 or 15 minutes, you know that we like to talk about the rocket launches from NASA Wallet's flight facility, and today is no different. Joining us this evening is the news chief for NASA Wallops. This is Keith Kohler. Keith, how are you doing? Uh, just fine. Good to be here today. I wanted to talk about a, a launch that's coming up pretty soon, but explain to me, there are actually a lot of rocket launches that go on at Wallops, right? Yeah, especially this year. We've got a really busy year with uh, maybe three or four orbital launches, and then we have another 10 uh, suborbital launches, so it can be a Right now, if everything holds schedule, we're uh, going to be real busy this year. So the one we're talking about, though, is the resupply mission to the International Space Station. What's going on? Well, we got a uh, launch coming up on uh, Saturday, February 20th at 12.36 p.m. So uh, it's a good time of the day to get out and to be able to see the launch. This is going to be another one of the uh, North of Grumman Antares rockets uh, carrying supplies to the International Space Station. So... Uh, we're real excited about getting this off, uh, not only dealing with the weather, as you see behind me, but uh, we're also, of course, working the coronavirus and other issues. So, uh, But everything's on schedule, and uh, we're uh, ready to go. You know, I'm glad you said that you always have a scheduled time, but there's actually a window for the launch. What kind of things would, would stop a launch? Well, this window is only five minutes because uh, it has to do with, you know, the being able to catch up with the space station. So it's a very small window. Things such as obviously any aircraft or ships that might be in what we would call the hazard area because we don't want any pieces falling down on boats and things like that. Uh, then, of course, uh, weather. Uh, we're going to be looking at the weather, cloud cover, uh, those types of things. So then obviously you have the technical issues. I mean, it's a very complicated uh, process to be able to get a rocket off, not only the ground systems, but the rocket itself. So uh, we want to make sure everything is good to go. and. Uh, Give everybody a good show next Saturday. So is it top secret or can you tell me a couple of things that you've got on board? No, it's not top secret. It's going to be carrying the uh, usual uh, supplies to the space station, uh, cargo, uh, clothing, food. Uh, we've got some experiments. One is a worm experiment looking at uh, the muscles and worms and how to be able to relate that to humans. And and because uh, when humans are in space for a very long time, uh, the muscles uh, tend to get a little bit on the wimpy side. How about that? So in years past, we've been able to watch the launch from the visitor center. What about this year? Well, actually, because of COVID, we're not going to be able to have the visitor center open. Uh, you'll be able to see it. Uh, if it's a daytime launch, it's not going to be as visible as a nighttime launch would be. But uh, anywhere here on the shore, you'll be able to see the launch. There you go. Well, we will be sure to have all the links for being able to watch online. Uh, News Chief Keith Kohler at NASA Wallops Flight Facility, thank you so much for talking to us today. Good to be here.